Thank you. My name is Mark Stephen Sullivan. I am the director for the Huntsville Field Office for the Ministry of Interior Military Assistance Group at the United States Army Security Assistance Command. I was a uh, major in the Field Artillery United States Army and I was assigned to the 3rd Brigade, 3rd Infantry Division out of Fort Stewart, Georgia. I was in a mechanized field artillery battalion. The weapon system was a M109A6 Paladin 155mm self-propelled howitzer. Our mission was to provide indirect fires in support of 3rd Brigade, 3rd Infantry Division's attack into Iraq. My role was to serve as a principal advisor to the brigade commander for all fires, lethal and non-lethal. Our unit was the first uh, brigade combat team, in, in fact, the first element to cross the Kuwaiti border. We were the lead brigade of the lead division for the U.S. Army in attacking along the Euphrates Valley up into Baghdad. We were the first unit to fire across the Kuwaiti border into Iraq, attacking some border posts in preparation for our advancement. Well, the first thing that was going through my mind was mission accomplishment taking care of my soldiers, and doing what we had to do to be successful. But in the back of my mind, I thought about my family back home and how I didn't want to let them down, and I wanted to make sure that they were proud of my service, even if I didn't come home, that uh, they understood that I was doing the right thing. Well, just to understand the stresses of war, the effect it has on soldiers, and so certainly I wanted to set the example and ensure that uh, soldiers knew that I was out front leading them making sound decisions and that they could be confident that we would be successful in war. Well, I'm most proud of the fact that we, um, we sustained ourselves for 26 days of combat traveling over 750 kilometers to the northern outskirts of Baghdad where we ended our mission. But what's most important is that we brought all of our soldiers home after the mission. Well, I respected my enemy. We fought with honor, we did our duty, and we came home. Well, as a leader, you've got to be able to operate under enormous stress and ensure your soldiers that you're looking out for them, that you have their interest in, at heart, that you're leading them from the front, and uh, that you're taking care of them. To be sure you train as you fight. Uh, we trained every day in hopes that this event uh, may never occur, but when it does, you're ready. Your teammates are ready and your leadership provides the necessary resources to provide you overwhelming decisiveness on the battlefield. And you win. To do your absolute best. I mean, you may not at uh, this age appreciate your contributions, but as you grow older and you look back, you'll have a better understanding of the contributions you made to a grateful nation. Well, I'm humbled and uh, I think it's a distinct honor to be inducted. I think uh, I'd like to share this with all of the teammates that I had the privilege of serving with and fighting on the battlefield. I think they equally deserve this type of recognition and, uh, and I'm happy to share it with them.